Hello everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the train room and we are going to have some fun tonight. We are going to talk about the history of the Pennsylvania Railroad Broadway Limited. We are going to take a look at an awesome version of it from K-Line. But first, before we get into the catalog and the history, let's take a look at it running on the rails. So this is an early Pennsylvania K-4 by K-Line with the Broadway Limited six car set they came out with, 2004 time frame. So the locomotive, I did upgrade the speaker in it, so it will have a little bit of a different sound to it. Um, but this locomotive is equipped with TMCC and Cruise. It was also offered without Cruise. I love the K-Line Chuff. It's not a fan-driven smoke unit. It's a mechanical-driven little puffer that just puts out puffs of smoke. K-Line was definitely innovative and ahead of their time. The passenger cars are beautiful. Excellent job. They do have, uh, you know, the lit plaque on the back. Two color uh, lights on the side of the observation coach. So yellow or amber on the side. And red from the rear of the train. The locomotive has four green marker lights on the front. Then, if you look at the diaphragms, look how nicely they fit together on K-Line and the spacing between the cars. I just really think they did a great job. And there's the passenger cars with the figures. And there's that amber light on the side. And then the red lights from the rear. My next video, and I'm making a K4 video at the request of my friend, John April. Uh, the trailblazer behind this K4 will be my next video. That's an MTH premiere. All right, let's bring it down to speed a little bit so we can take a look at the detail on this locomotive. Now remember, this is a scale locomotive from the early 2000s. Um, K-Line, you know, I, I, I can understand why Lionel wanted to put them out of business. Because at the time, what K-Line was putting out, production-wise and model-wise, in comparison to the Lionel of the era, um, K-Line was just crushing everybody. I mean, in my opinion, they were making some of the most beautiful models. So, I think the, act, the color is pretty accurate on the cars. You have a baggage car, number 9229. You have the RPO car, number 6511. And you have some detail in there. Then we have the Washington Square car we have the night route car then we have the diner car with folks seated at the table and some servers and we have the Queen Mary observation car some figures there so just great job. I mean, again, this diaphragm and the way they meet is like super impressive. And one of the other things really impressive about this set is, you know, I think I have about 700 invested in this between the six car passenger set 
and a scale steam locomotive with TMCC and cruise. So coming in at one of the best value complete scale trains that I was able to purchase. Um, and you can still find those deals out there because this stuff wasn't super expensive to begin with. And it's hard to believe you can pick up an entire set of, you know, a little bit dated control system, but who cares? Because the details of the locomotive and cars are awesome. But anyway, you can pick this up for the price of less than one Lionel Legacy diesel locomotive. Or, these days, a Lion Chief Plus locomotive coming in at over $600 now. Unbelievable. So, for my bang for the buck, I would be buying sets like this. Uh, all day long. So you have your cab figures. You have uh, it's cab number 5358, which goes along with the model number, which we're going to shift to here real quick. All right. So let's take a look at the catalog. So what we had there um, is number 5358CC. And it's a different version than this one that's shown in the picture. But they came in at $699.95. And then um, if you want a TMCC and cruise, you're coming in about seven or I'm sorry, eight fifty. And you know, all new tooling. It shows all the Lionel rail sounds and control system. Um then you could get one with the uh smoke lifters. here and i've been on the hunt for that one um grisbowski's trains had one at york for like 350 dollars, and i kicked myself in the butt for not buying it last year but i just ran out of time and didn't make it back by their booth and so i'm still on the hunt for that one and here is the six car passenger set you got all six cars for 419 dollars what a great deal. And these are every bit as nice outside of no LED lighting is what we now pay for uh, in Lionel for the same style looking car. Um, and now your sets are considerably, considerably more money. All right. So a little bit of history on the Broadway Limited. Did you know that the Broadway Limited um, was originally the Pennsylvania special and they renamed it the Broadway limited, not after Broadway in New York, but, uh, because the broad way of the, the Pennsylvania railroads four track right away along its main route. And the Broadway limited operated from 1912 to 1995. And I was like, how is that even possible? Well, it was possible because, um, Penn central, conveyed the train to Amtrak in 1971 and Amtrak operated the Broadway Limited until 1995. So the Broadway Limited was pulled by several different, and, and there were different versions of it. So they're not all Madison or Pullman style cars. Um, it, it, it had different versions throughout the years of passenger cars. Um, what we just saw is basically the early 1920s version on the rails from K-Line, uh, so pre-World War II version, um, and I, I actually like that version as one of the best, although it was pulled by the S2 steam turbine, it was pulled by uh, the K4 torpedo, it was pulled by the big S1, um, it was pulled by the GG1, and then a series of diesels. Uh, also pulled it. So you can do a lot of research on the Broadway Limited. There's quite a bit about it. Um, if you pull it up on Wikipedia, Wikipedia is my friend. I donate to them every year because I use it all the time to do researching in railroad. So I hope everyone enjoyed seeing the Broadway Limited. Um, I was running this locomotive for two hours last night because I had given it a tune-up. Um, 
And this is the one that I think I showed in one of my videos where someone had left the battery in it, the previous owner. And it, it really, I mean, so many things happened to it um, because of that battery being left in there and dead shorting that I had to revive it and bring it back to life. And it's doing good. I think I would like to get an ERR cruise board a little bit uh, here in the near future. And when I say I would like that a little bit more than what's in there now is because it doesn't always just have a smooth speed. It'll be a little jerky from time to time. And it probably won't do it now, make a, a flyer out of me. But let's see if we can get it to do it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I had to put new traction tires on this. There it is a little bit. You can hear the car sort of rock a little bit back and forth and see it. So not that big a deal. I can run it with the cruise turned off and it runs smoothly other than when I'm going up and down all these inclines. Let's go around the corner here. That about does it for tonight's run. I know a lot of you have been asking what I'm going to sell. This is a process of going through all my collection and running stuff to see what I really want to have and what I really don't. Um, so hang in there. It will come. Uh, it's just a really tough decision. I bought all this stuff for a reason. I liked it. And um, it's really hard deciding how to thin out. I might just have to buy a bigger house and keep it all. Just kidding. Um, well, I hope everyone enjoyed the video tonight. And I've seen Gus made a nice video out of a lot of my videos. If you look up G-U-S-S-H-A-D-L-E-Y, you can find that video he made. And then, as I said, Rail Chief 74 made a collaboration video with me as well. I love it because I'm meeting lots of friends uh, without having to even leave the comfort of my own home through my YouTube channel. We're up to almost 2,000 subscribers, so I appreciate everyone who has enjoyed the content and giving me suggestions. I do have a suggestion for some New York Central Hudson's. I still need to show my uh, Santa Fe Warhorse Hudson running from the video the other night. I've got about three hours of runtime on that guy now, and it is really broken in and running well. So, with that being said, uh, I look forward to making more videos and sharing them with you, and thank you for giving me feedback on my content. Have a great night.